Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Extra 10 Cents. Hope that you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this guy right here. Little itty bitty tiny baby bottle of Replicas Autumn Vibes. Actually, I got this from one of my friends a number of months ago, Tommy at Studio Sense. He has a YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I'll link it down below. Uh, but I got this from him and I gotta say he mutilated the box. Come on, dude. You can't open a box without just tearing it? What? But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Autumn Vibes. I figured it's a pretty good time to talk about it because it is October. It's Autumn. So let's jump into it. And let's chat about it. So this one, I wish I could tell you it was easier to find at discounters, but it's really not. I've seen it pop up at FragranceNet and then it sells out really quickly. As of this video, it is sold out. Same thing with Fragrance Buy, I've seen it pop up there and then it sells out. If I can find it discounted, I'll link it below, but eh, probably not. So in the good old United States, this size bottle, 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce, will run you $76. Oh, that's not cheap. If you get the 100 mil size bottle, 3.4 ounces, that's a little bit of a better deal in terms of price per milliliter. That's 144 bucks. So it's still not cheap, but it's not as expensive in terms of price per mil as uh, this little guy. So first off, let's go ahead. Let's look at this presentation. So here is the box. As I said, uh, he, he did a number on it, so it's ripped open there. On the front, you have a little picture. You have the information on the fragrance, autumn vibes, woody trail and red leaves. You have the name of the house, the concentration and the size. Gotta say, I do like that little tiny picture there. You have the barcode on one side. On the back, you have your ingredient information. And on the bottom, you have your batch code. Mine is 22U20YB. And here's the bottle looking like a little miniature figurine. You have that same replica information on the front there. You have the little uh, rope wrap around the collar. It looks nice. On the bottom, you have a sticker, which has your badge code. And of course, the atomizer has no cap. It's just right there at the top. And you know what time it is. It is time to spray. Actually, all things considered, the replica atomizers are pretty good. The bottle and everything is supposed to be inspired by apothecary bottles. I'm somebody who actually likes the replica style. I like these bottles. I like the boxes. I like the idea behind this, you know, trying to capture the smell of a scent, a place, a time. I like that. I'm for it. Some of their fragrances do a better job at capturing that than others. Some of them are just kind of misses and others are, are great. I know Jazz Club, man, you guys talk about Jazz Club nonstop. <laughs> like that gets a ton of love from you all with good reason, but yeah. So Autumn Vibes, this one, a lot of people were psyched for when it was released and then it didn't really, didn't really catch a whole lot of love. Like if you go to Fragrantica, it doesn't have a very good rating. Same thing with Perfumo. A lot of people were underwhelmed by this fragrance, you could say. So how's the smell? Do I like it? What's the deal? Let's talk about it. When I first spray this one on, it reminds me a bit of Santal 33 from Le Labo. It's kind of in that style. And for the first maybe three, four minutes off my skin, I can kind of pick up that pickle vibe that some people get from Santal 33, you know, that, that dreaded pickle. If you've never smelled that fragrance, you may not know what I'm talking about, but that's something that's very well known with Santal 33, that a lot of people, when they smell it, they get this vibe of the fragrance smelling like pickles and it immediately turns them off and they just go, oh God, it's, it's a nightmare. I can never wear this. And then other people will be like, no, I get no pickle at all. It's a masterpiece. With Autumn Vibes, I get a little pickle action, a little bit for that first, like I said, three, four minutes, but it goes away really fast. So it's not something that lingers. It doesn't stick around as long as it does uh, with Santal 33. So I don't think it's really a big deal. And actually I'm kind of weird. And when I smell it, I'm like, hey, you're kind of pickly. That's kind of cool. So pretty quickly that fades back, gets taken over, and it becomes more of a woody fragrance. It has kind of a papery smell to it. I get the idea that they're putting across here, uh, woody trail and red leaves. So you get a little bit of that leafiness, kind of like dried leaves, moss, and wood, along with paper. 
to an extent. As it dries down, as it settles, you get a little smokiness. So you get this hint of like light smoke incense coming through. You get a little sprinkle of pink pepper in the opening and through the mid. As it dries, it becomes woodier and woodier. And that, that oak moss, it lingers, it hangs out there with the wood. It never really takes on any sweetness. So you don't get too much warmth there. Uh, there's technically like labdanum in the base, I believe, but don't really get too much of that. So ultimately it ends up being a very woody, uh, somewhat spicy fragrance that at different times might smell a little papery, a little dry, but not overly dry and is devoid of, of much of anything else. It changes a lot from when you first spray it on, you know, in the first five minutes, but once it settles, not a massive change. Bits and pieces fall away and it becomes, as I said, more woody, but it's not like, you know, this drastic change from the open to the mid to the dry down. It's just kind of a succession of fragrance drying down. And as I said, the woodiness coming out more and, and supporting notes kind of falling by the wayside. Yeah. So as I said, it reminds me a little bit of Santal 33 when I first sprayed on, especially because of that kind of pickle cucumber thing that I get for just a few minutes and then that papery kind of woodiness that it has. And I would say that that similarity does carry through as the fragrance dries down. I still do have kind of in my mind like this line drawn between the two fragrances that they have similarities. I would say Santal 33 on the whole is... Uh, more complex, it has more going on. It does carry over that that dill, that pickle vibe uh, longer in Santal 33. It drops away much quicker here. So that's a potential uh, positive for you. Now I do have to admit, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan in the world of Santal 33. So, you know, there's that. I mean, I think it's fine, but like I wouldn't want to pay retail price for that at all. I'd say Autumn Vibes is unisex leaning masculine. And in terms of performance, it's pretty good off my skin. It lasts a good amount of time, but it doesn't project heavily. So it projects well initially, but then as it settles, it starts to sit a little closer to the skin. So it's one of those fragrances that, you know, it lasts, it lingers, but it never really pushes out with, with very much authority, which is fine. You know, it's a fragrance made, I'm assuming based off of the you know, marketing and everything to be more of a cozy type fragrance, more of a personal type fragrance to an extent. So overall, I'd say I get why it doesn't receive a ton of love. It's fairly simple in how it comes across and what it does give you is not something that's just uh, mind blowing, people pleasing, just attention grabbing type of scent profile, right? It's, it's hitting you with a slight dill cucumber kind of vibe off the top for a few minutes, which a lot of people are going to find off putting. And then it hits you with kind of just a woodiness with bits of spice, bits of smoke and uh, moss as it dries. And it's the type of scent profile that I imagine a lot of people would compare to like pencil shavings. You know, it's got that kind of vibe. And so it's just not something that a lot of people are going to gravitate toward. But instead, they've leaned into you're standing outside and you're surrounded by trees and the trees are having leaves fall, which is cool. But then when you give someone a fragrance and it's like, here is paper and wood and pencil shavings. Enjoy. It's probably not going to get a massive reaction of people like, yes, I paid 150 for this. Ah, oh, yes. So I get it because I would not wear this in the summer. I wouldn't wear this in the spring because I wouldn't wear this in the summer for sure. Wouldn't wear it in the spring. Doesn't really match very well, obviously. In the winter, probably going for something with more push, a little more richness, more depth. And frankly, in the fall as well, which is when this is made to be worn, I'm assuming autumn vibes, right? There's so many other things that I would wear. So I don't hate it. I don't at all hate it. I actually like it. But it's just one of those deals where if you come up to me and say, okay, do you like it $144 worth? No, I don't. If I could scoop it from a discount or 100 mil size bottle for say 65, 70, something like that, I think I'd be a buyer. But it is very simple and it's not the type of scent profile that enraptures me. All right, guys, that will do it for me. Let me know what you think about Autumn Vibes. Let me know if you like it, if you think it's worth the 144 or you know what, you'd pay for it yourself. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you again another day with another video. See you later.